and welcome to a Beaufort County Report. I'm Chloe G and I'm here with Miss Joy Solomon, the Beaufort Memorial Director of Education and Workforce Development. And Beaufort Memorial now has these new high fidelity simulation mannequins and luckily we've been able to get a sneak peek of those. And Joy is going to tell us all about what the facility will be used for and how, how they're gonna be used. Okay. So our, our facility will be utilized for clinical training. So we have four high fidelity simulation mannequins, this being one of them, this is Miss Susie. Um, our mannequins can cry, bleed, simulate a stroke, have a heart attack, um, and simulate almost any clinical scenario or complication um, that will give the staff an opportunity to get trained on. And will experienced healthcare professionals use the facility in addition to students, or is it just going to be for students? Absolutely. So, even alongside with students, our current clinical staff that is here at the hospital um, has to have annual competencies and training. So, this will give them an opportunity to be trained on high risk but low volume scenarios, things that don't happen frequently. Um, but when they do happen, we need to know how to respond and respond with accuracy. So this gives them an opportunity to do that. As well as if they make mistakes, they're doing it on a simulation mannequin versus in a live scenario. Yes, that, that is a, a key, key factor to these awesome mannequins. Um, what types of roles can individuals receive at training for in the PATH program? So in our PATH program, if they do our internal PATH, um, we have roles where staff from mid to entry level positions can come in and they can transition to becoming a patient care tech. They can be a clinical medical assistant, a phlebotomist. Um, we also have professional coders, central sterile processing technicians, as well as endoscopy technicians. I'm sorry. Um, and how are these going to be used um, with the students? Well, when we are training with our students, we are creating um, an environment that looks exactly like our physician practices as well as our hospital rooms so that we bring them to a scenario where they are caring for a patient and having to perform the skills that they're being trained on such as lab draws, um, performing EKGs, etc. taking vital signs. Well I think that's all the time we have for today so thank you so much for Joy for letting us come out and get this sneak peek. I can't wait to see how these excel and grow in the future. Thank so you. thank you so much. Thank you.